in the mail requesting that they ought to choose to go through official channels and to do so would be to the benefit of all involved in the caper. I found no merit in arriving at an immediate decision. I slipped out of the back door and headed towards the ruined warehouse district. Rows of rotted packing crates piled down either side of the avenue. The air was filled with clouds of smoke from the few inefficient facilities that remained operational during this late year of many trials. Most of the district was given over to desolation and gangs of unruly youths dressed in dirty goggles roamed at will, wearing suits of high-tech powered armour and attacking each other with crude melee weapons. I wore no armour and carried a well-maintained automatic pistol with several clips of ammunition. The ghosts of industry crowded by trail and attempted to interest me in literature detailing agricultural chemicals that were now highly illegal as well as completely useless. The Broom Ghost Witch Scaffold passed by and dispersed their clouds with a loud clang. I found myself grateful, but it was not interested in any of its scrap metal products during this particular epoch of history. I'll reform and begin construction correctly when the trees have returned in the correct formation and fulfill all the details. Smet in the step have them fill and copied and crushed. Pop pet le, patter. Perfection red capiscum sewings and infusion 
infusion realised incorrectly aligned and specially constructed sewers. Just keep on flowing red till the budget is exhausted. At the late stage we have reached, we are unable to make any allowances for safety netting. Just waiting till the airships creep and get re-dyed while the adhesive solution is setting. We must resupply so we're getting out of that arm and escape into ceramic for 25 km before we turn to clay at 50, before morphing into a green gel that seeps through the cracks and becomes whole grain a decade later, a decade later when the original crew is brought back together by nostalgia and popular demand experienced by the adoring public who are starved fast in their disregard oil barrels on public hilltops where unauthorized illegal tipping is a recurrent problem that our best operatives have been unable to rectify despite a massive investment of time and resources. The whole thing starts burning and the adoring public dances till their skin slews off and the overexpensive bill arrives to remain unpaid. Bring on the lengthy court case. It will do wonders for your figure. Trundle. Postscript. Please dwell on the details until every expansion ceases and goes back to fungus to stay out of my barrel realm. Tubes being down into their sockets. Don't connect the train until the kit arrives in the mail. Tally your aeroplane maintenance till the taxis mount them. A figure of speech based at careful observation and meticulous research carried out at night with a poorly operating and highly inefficient torch battery weapon slipped down to tases and that kind of thing by building suppliers are here right now and they need my immediate attention so I must be excused.
toilet while the detergent is flushing. Don't bend me back in the flax seed bed. Wreck off the spaceport. Arc of the complex melter leading to sliding down in increments. That's just the way it goes, you know. My steam train is still harvesting my fields. It's actually my combine harvester hovering over the grain. That manner of contract reducing down to breakfast cereal flushed down in increments. I've come to rig approval, man, and I provide low marks. It's what I do when it's manufactured and at any other point in the holographic process. It just keeps on kicking out photocopies, just kicking and kicking and kicking, right off of a hard-wearing surface that can absorb a high quotient of polyphonic blows, overloading circuits. Don't stop the pulsing away from the crest and avoiding your peak. How do you assess my inventory in that before? I engage brutal circuits to copy and slice. Aren't you stepping down? It could still be possible to provide that impression. I've got a small concave that's driving me wild. I never thought about it. It will provide production when the conveyor reverses the new material moved down on the simple components as the demand decreased. That's my game, and I'm made for it. Thousands of hats in manufacturing pain, a spectacular downgrade. 
That aggresses do downgrade that screen, coastal components to usable deadly weapons, and to postal collection boxes on opposite coat tubes sticking out of narrow manner. It isn't primed for that speed. It's got a real charge from the juicy tree with two pink leads are leaking in the stump like that and dripping excess that flows into the picket fence. Flowing into pre-sword plazas, they are professionals at removing that section and doing plastic replacements. I'm not flushing out now. My car duplicates melting. Does your horse live a long time? I hope it does to preserve your livelihood. No one can throw ashtrays at you anymore, except in select outdoor locations. With a hearty glow, it all sells briskly. I have seen the future. I can't take my filling transmission due to the current condition shielding the radiance of satiation. My car doors dropping down into trash fragments realize falling out of meaning due to wide dispersal. Pay the master of dispersal what you owe him. Down the drain at the end of a line. I would avoid that. Carts going along in trains only to cross the field. I am mostly floating on the blue lakes whilst unconsciously sided boats are banging into cave walls or tree stumps whilst engaged. Trains travel in parallel on the same near, nearby parallel panes, forming a nearby indemnity, as it must flower and bring on the foodstuffs, although they will not pass in all instances. My headlights are resting as I drive, my glasses repurpose light. Although it is daytime, an inversion takes light. It falls out of me as the sun is bright. This is how I fulfill my mission, appearing at different coffee stops every 500 feet. Though my illumination has melted, that is what I am, falling on my eyes and lenses falling away and my eye falling out to sink into black void that drips out and forms inversion and an alternative. The trees are wilting and regrowing as I drive and drink bad quality coffee from repetition stands in passing. No more icon on this side and the rust increases. My vehicle ends and I reach a desert. Its dust flows out like a new painting falling in waves. I cannot attain the conclusion. I shall glimpse these stars every night like a small tube of ice that cascades from the heavens. I will not attain that injection. There is no finite point where the corpse enters the undergrowth. I will see no further. I must witness the rust painting as it flows across the millennia that I have not chosen. The stars chill my soul till I become the inversion of their temperature. Sailing on a ship of long reach, the rust is imposed on the sea, brought into a flowing painting of determination. It sits upon the desert, it sits upon the sea, it sits upon the countertops and makes them endure until the air is pronounced in finality. Rust stalls me, the eons, artist painting ever long views all along the open water, constructing a million years until the experience is gone and we move on.